Hey, what's going on? This is Engineer Mojo. Today we're going to talk about how to define matrices. This is the exact same process and how you define pretty much any variable within MathCAD. If you go to New, in your top left corner sheet, this creates a new sheet with a blue crosshair and this tells you your next insertion point whether it's a math or text region so usually I always start off with a text region just to put a title on what we're doing today defining and evaluating matrices so to start off, just pick a variable that you want to use as a placeholder for a matrix. So I'll start with B. I'll just type it B, then colon. And this brings up when you type colon, it brings up the colon plus equal sign. And that is your indicator that you're about to define a variable or define a matrix. So from here, you just want to type in left bracket, which is usually next to the P on the keyboard. And I'll type a 1. And then I want to make this a, a 1 by 3. So I'll hit tab. Or I should say a 3 by 1. Tab 2. Tab 3. And as you see, the region moves up. It's pretty easy if you want to just navigate this around, if you want to get some space. Next, I'll define another matrix C, put C, colon, left bracket, 4, tab, 5, tab, 6. So now B and C are both defined, and if I want to evaluate B plus C, it's as simple as typing in B plus C equals, and voila, it gives you MathCAD automatically evaluates those two matrices or vectors and provides an answer for you. Now you can also get a bigger matrix by going in, a, in your matrix C and table menu option right up here in the top. Click that. Click insert matrix right over here in the left. Now unfortunately the program I'm using doesn't show you pop-up menus within a program but what happens is MathCAD pops up a menu and you can physically select how big of a matrix you want to create. So I'll do a three by three. And I'll just type in one and then to navigate within that matrix, just use your arrow keys. You can type left and right and you can navigate within the matrix. So I'll put four, six, seven, eleven, five, three, two, and one. And I'll just push this down a little bit. And as you see, since this is not a global definition of C, now that I've used C here, it redefines C as this matrix. So just remember that when you're defining a variable, if you don't global define it, which I made a tutorial on that, and you can check that out to the top right on the card, but if you just locally define it, you can redefine it very easily. And I'll put D defined as, now I'll do a number 3 by 3, another 3 by 3. And we'll just do all ones. And you can hit tab as well, and that'll get you to the next point in your matrix. So from here, I want to evaluate C plus D. And it's as simple as typing in C plus D equals and MathCAD automatically evaluates the answer for you. Now you can also type in C times D equals and MathCAD does that as well. And you can play around with this, use different operators, uh, different size matrices and see your limitations that come up with MathCAD, which there are not many. Uh, if you have any questions as usual, comment down below. Any tips that you can provide to me or to anybody watching the video comment as well uh, as always I try to make these pretty short 
so that you don't get bogged down with too much information. So if you want to see anything more on this, just let me know and I'll be sure to try to make another tutorial. As always, thanks. Please like if you like, please share, and please subscribe. I'll be putting out more MathCat tutorials as I go along. Thanks again. Have a good day. Thank you.